So here's an example that shows us how the J2EE platform works. On the right hand side what we see is uh, your data store. This is simply a database, uh, not necessarily any processing happening here. This is principally just storage and data input and data output. Then in the second column over, or the server-side business logic, this is where we actually perform the processing. So this is the engine that's accessing the data in the databases, and is actually performing manipulations and perhaps tallies and summaries and, and things along these lines. So it's actually massaging the data set. On the next one over, server-side presentation, this is actually the portal that the clients on the far left will be uh, uh, connecting to. So the clients connect to the portal or the, the presentation servers. That would be like a web server or some, uh, some application server that they can connect to. This is strictly a portal and it is isolated from the processing engines. Very often we do this for isolation and for security purposes. If, if the clients who might be anonymous clients can connect to the server, they could be attacking that server and might steal confidential data. So all we give them is the portal. The, the clients now connect only to the portal. The real data and processing lives back on the server side. So again, this is designed for security and for uh, performance and functionality. So four stages. We have storage, we have processing, we have portal services, and then we have the client side applications.